Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna keep this one fairly short um, as I kind of just want to go through the current high day that I'm doing at the moment. Um, I just trained legs, just got back. As you can see, I look pretty bad. I am. Um, I'm ready for a nap after this meal. Um, we trained legs for three hours this morning. Pretty standard session to be honest, but um, I had Neil and Harry there to spot me, which was good, um, and just generally just train together. So it was a good session, all in all, just pushing each other to our limits and beyond. Um, so I sound like Buzz Lightyear. Um, <laughs> high day, just going to go through that. So last night, because I trained fasted in the morning, um, I have my kind of pre-workout meal, obviously, before bed um, the night before, and then I go and train fasted in the morning. Um, so on a high day, I add 50 grams of carbs to my pre-workout meal, so my pre-bed meal. Um, my intra-workout is also an additional 50 grams of carbs. Um, at the moment, um, I'm not doing any um, intra-workout carbohydrates, so leg day is kind of the only session where I do add carbohydrates at the moment. Obviously, in the off-season, that will be increased um, and I probably, when food gets really high, I do add in carbohydrates to every single training session. So that would that would just be an additional 50 grams of carbs on my intro. Um, and then post-workout, which I've just made now. So I'm going to show you this now, why I have post-workout on a high day. Um, it's my, I have this post-workout meal every training session, um, which is just 94 um, grams of cream of rice. 30 grams of whey, 21 grams of raisins. That is my standard pre -work, standard post-workout meal. Um, and then this is my 150 grams of cereal. Um, so today's choice is a mix of Frosties and Cocoa Pops. Um, that goes pretty, down pretty well, so that's 150 grams of cereal. Added on, not sure what carbohydrates that is, added on to my cream of rice meal, so it's quite a nice post-workout meal. Um, as we're on YouTube, I can give you a bit more in insight into my high day. I don't really like to uh, say this stuff on Instagram, really, but as we're on YouTube, I can kind of be a bit more, um, what's the word, transparent. Um, after my session, after every training session, no, after my high day session, which is legs, I have um, 10, I 10 IU of Nova. I wasn't going to say how much, but 10 IU... 10 IU of Nova Rapid um, Insulin, and then I come home. Usually it's like a 20, 30 minute gap be before, uh, between taking that and eating, which is kind of the recommended time you should take between that, let it kick in. Um, and then I have my post-workout meal, and then I'll have 20 IU of um, Lantus as well. Um, Lantus I take every single day with my first meal. Um, so that's the insulin protocol. Um, I know some people are kind of against insulin or don't like using it. I, I've seen no kind of... I've used insulin now for like the past two years, maybe. Um, always um, kind of in, in an off-season setting. Um, it gets dropped out as soon as I go into prep. Um, and we don't. I don't use it at all in prep. Um, it's literally just when food starts to get high and we want to process um, and help the food and the carbohydrates go into the muscle um, as effectively as possible and get as much out of the nutrients that we're putting in. So that's the kind of the reason we're using it. Um, I haven't seen any kind of negatives from it. I don't think you do really. Um, I don't think people do um, unless you're doing like obscene amounts of it. Um, but that obviously, that, you know, everything in kind of moderation. So that's my high day. Um, I, I might show you, we do have an off-plan meal tonight. Um, we are going to Yo Sushi, so a bit different than Five Guys. So I might show you what I get at Yo Sushi, um, give you an insight into my kind of high day, what I do after that. Um, I do have as well, because I have like a 90 minute time where I kind of eat what I kind of want. Um, I kind of just eat till I'm full, pretty much. I don't really like going beyond that and stuffing my face and kind of, um, being t to the point where like my stomach's out out to here and it's just beyond kind of 
fullness. I don't really like to go that way. I eat till I'm full. That's kind of where I'm, where I'm at. It's shown in my past um, high days that my body weight's gone up about two kilo pretty consistently on high days. So I like to keep it there. I kind of know my limit and kind of push to there. That's kind of all I go. Um, obviously, as food gets increased, I'll probably be able to eat a bit more as the stomach gets a bit bigger. I get really more used to food, get more used to processing food. Um, so I, my normal high day, my consistent high day is like five guys, um, two, two um, bacon cheeseburgers, regular fries. I will have like four cookies or um, four muffins as well afterwards. Um, a couple of square bars. I do have some of those like um, waffles that you can put in the toaster. I'll have some of them if I want. Um, maybe some cheesecake. It's not all in the same night, but it's like what the kind of foods that I choose between. Um, I kind of have a main course and then a dessert as well. Um, that's kind of how I've done things. Um, you know, it's kept because I'm only doing it like once a week or twice a week at the moment. Twice a week is now. We've done two high days this week and last week. Um, so obviously today is the 28th. My first high day was Christmas day. Um, so obviously kind of just ate. I had my normal, I had no, my normal four meals and then I took two of my meals out and just added in Christmas dinner. But to be honest, those meals, I probably under ate in carbohydrates. Um, I typically hold or lose weight over Christmas, which is a bit mad, but, um, I just tried to add a few different few things in there as well. So, um, but today we'll do this, have this meal, sushi tonight. I'll show you that, um, and kind of whatever comes, whatever else comes with it, um, whatever I fancy. So we'll do that. Um, so we'll see you later on. So it is actually the next day now. So it is Friday, um, rest day, 29th of December, about 10 past eight in the morning. Just got back from doing my rest day cardio and steps. Um, at the moment, just doing 20 minutes of cardio. It's nothing crazy, three times a week. Um, steps are at 8,000. So I always do like 25 minutes to half an hour in the morning. Um, Reason being why I do that and why I do obviously faster cardio, everyone kind of does cardio in the morning, but um, it's just to prime my digestion for the food ahead, especially after high days. Um, obviously, you're fairly saturated in the morning from the food the night before, so um, I don't really, really get hungry until I eat my first meal. So it's one of the reasons as well why I get up um, so early. You know, I get up at like five five in the morning um my first meal on a rest day doesn't go in till about 10 half 10 um just to kind of prime that digestion i don't really want to stuff myself um as soon as i wake up so that's why i train fasted that's why i do my cardio in the morning that's why i'll just go to the gym and do steps is to kind of get that digestion um ready and just have have a couple of hours being fasted and, and not um letting the the body wake up without kind of pushing food in too soon um that's what i kind of do there so um apologies if i didn't get any kind of content with the high day food um i was hungry i just wanted to set in and um enjoy enjoy the company i had with harry and neil and just enjoy the meal so um i did get a little picture which you just seen of the sushi that we had um i think i did like six six dishes i think six or seven dishes um nothing crazy but weight went up quite nicely yesterday um i followed it by i had three um three muffins and then get these like sugar waffles from um sainsbury's the like the ones i used to have at school where you kind of microwave them in in the bag um i just had three of those put in the toaster put some ice cream on top that was kind of my little nightcap felt quite good going to bed um full but not like overly full like i spoke about it earlier um so that was good um weight went up quite nicely yes today um about a kilo kilo and a half up i think from yesterday so um puts us at a new high weigh in um a new new weigh in so that's good that was kind of whole today because today's a rest day 
um, I tend to kind of hold that weight and then it will um, start to trickle back down come Sunday, Monday, um, and that's kind of it. So that was yesterday's high day, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, I only have five meals on a high day as well, so I have four of my normal meals and then the last meal is my kind of off-plan meal. Um, I remember in the, in the past when we were, we were pushing food and food was like over 6,000 calories, I would do seven meals on a on a like a off plan meal day. Um an off plan meal would be on top of my full day of eating. So um those were the days where it was it was um it was tough, you know, I was having a meal and then um literally half an hour later going for my off plan meal just to try and fit it in and have enough time between meals in with my normal full day of eating and then having the off plan meal on top. Um but this time around it's quite it's nice um not putting too much too much calories in at once or in a certain day um and kind of just having five meals which is which is kind of nice um so kind of breaks up the week these high days which is quite good um so moving on now um that's the high day done um today was is a rest day tomorrow is delts and arms sunday's a rest day <coughs> excuse me and then we move into um a deload week so i will be doing some content around that um i'll just talk you through what the plan is for the deload week really nothing to um in depth just tell you literally what i'm doing you know this platform is literally just for me to document my journey um so the videos that i i put up are not very uh i suppose they are quite informative um but it's literally just what i wanted to do is document and tell you what i'm doing on a, on a weekly basis in terms of training nutrition um whether we take deload weeks what the kind of plan is for off season and so on so um i'll go through the next video the deload week the plan for that why we do a deload week um the benefits of a deload week um like what i'm what i'm actually doing in the week um to prepare for the off season um so i'll go through that next week but this is kind of like a little short video just going through my high day at the moment um it is kind of just the same as what it was in the previous video but again just documenting what i'm doing um showing you kind of the insight into this plan ahead so we'll leave it there guys thank you for watching um don't forget to like subscribe comment come back next week for the deload week video um that we posted up then and uh we'll see you then thanks guys